I, again, I'm thinking geometric isomers first. What kind of geometric isomers will I draw here? Mer and fac, because there's a threesome. Because there's three, I'm thinking fac and mer. There's no two, so there's no cis trans here. And again, it's octahedral. There's six uh, ligands. So first I'll draw the mer. Uh, there's a mer. Will the mer have a mirror image? Well, it'll have a mirror image, but it's the same. Okay, so it's identical. If you don't know, draw it out if you want to see it. Uh, but we're going to go on to the one that we know will have a mirror image, and that's the fact. The fact, remember, all three NH3s will be on a different axis. Here's the fact. Again, those two are called geometric isomers. Those are geometric isomers. Now I'm going to go to the optical isomers, which is the mirror image thing. And uh, that will be true for the fact. It's not always true, but it's often if the fact, if you have three that are in the fact position and the other three ligands are all different and different than the original three, its mirror image will be non-superimposable. Or in other words, they'll be, you'll have optical isomers. Here's the mirror image. Now notice the mirror image is also fact. It has to be, it's a mirror image of another fact. So this is not another geometric isomer, this is an optical isomer. It's not superimposable. And so these are enantiomers, they're stereoisomers, and each of these molecules are chiral. Yeah? Mer is like trans. The question is, what's the difference between, oh, wait, mer and fact, or? Mer? Yeah. So mer is like trans, meaning that two of the three are on the same axis. See how these are on the same z axis here? Where here, each are on a different axis. And here too. So that's the difference between fact. Fact is like cis, where they're all on different axes. Mer is like trans, where at least one set of the set is on the same axis. Okay, so you'd have three answers here. Yes? Uh, just to clarify, enantiomers, chiral, and optical isomers are all the same, right? Yes, those terms, optical isomers, Chirality, uh, what was the other one? Enantiomers, all the same. Really, chiral, when most people use it, it refers to one particular molecule. Okay. The molecule on the left and right are chiral. They are together enantiomers of each other, and they are both optical isomers. So really, those last two terms, latter two terms go with a group of things, a pair. Yes? Uh, 